1-800-222-9238. You can also go to their website at www.enerfood.com. That's E-N-E-R. F like Frank, O O D like dog, dot com, enterfood.com. A big thank you to all of our listeners already taking the products that Enter Health offers. We truly appreciate it. We thank you for your support and encourage you to listen often to stay informed during these crucial times. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. It's 6 20, 2013, Thursday night live broadcast. Hawk on Survive to Thrive. And you see, here we go. We got uh, Isaiah 17 one more time just to tie you right in. And, uh, you know, at the beginning of it, it says, And the burden of Damascus, behold, Damascus is taken away from being a city, and it shall be a ruinous heap. Okay, now, um, you go on down the road, and it says, and it shall be as when the harvest man gathereth the corn and reapeth the ears with his arm, and it shall be as he that gathereth ears in the valley of the Rephaim. Well, the valley of the Rephaim, the giants, uh, is very much in that same area up in there. And uh, Steve uh, was told you over the years about... Uh, uh, even the uh, uh, Russian uh, uh, eye doctor who is an expert on giants in Russia and, and uh, digs and different things, uh, along with some of the other people that Steve has, you know, written to or talked with over the years, like uh, Klaus uh, and different folks like that. Um, Moshef has been to the mountains there in Syria and found some of the caves and different things where he's found the bodies and all of that. But here we've got a harvest man gathered the corn and reaped the ears with his arm. It shall be as he that gathered the ears in the valley of the Rephaim. We're not talking about ears of corn. We're talking about ears. Okay. So you fight the Rephaim, or if the Rephaim fights you, there are going to be a lot of ears that are going missing. But... That's just something to show you how this is all tied in. But let's go down to what I've talked about before and what the Lord showed me about this. In the day shalt thou make thy plant to grow. And this is verse 11, chapter 17, Isaiah. And in the morning shalt thou make thy seed to flourish. But the harvest shall be a heap in the day of grief. And of desperate sorrow, woe to the multitude of many people, which make a noise like the noise of the seas. And to the rushing, the rushing, the rushing of nations that make a rushing like the rushing of mighty waters. So, woe to the multitude of many people, which make a noise like the noise of the seas. And to the rushing of nations that make a rushing like the rushing of mighty waters. So is this the Russians? I think so. The nations shall rush like the rushing of many waters, but God shall rebuke them and they shall flee far off and shall be chased as the chaff of the mountains before the wind and like a rolling thing before the whirlwind. And behold, at even tide trouble, and before the morning, he is not. This is the portion of them that spoil us, and the lot of them that rob us. Oh, if we could get a little more of that justice on a few more people robbing us in this nation right now robbing us of our liberty, robbing us of our rights, robbing us of our money, robbing us of sanity, robbing us of our peace and quiet and uh, privacy. But you see, here you go. Are we going to have nuclear weapons used there where you're going to have chaff and the chaff of the mountains before the wind? Well, there's always, when you use a nuclear weapon, there's always a, 
a rolling fast wind, isn't there? And then a fireball and all the different things, right? So let's see. Uh, here we go. Depka, Russian Marine and Air Power head for Syria versus a Western intervention, quote unquote, to defend Russian citizens, says Moscow. A day after the G8 summit ended the failure of Western leaders, and this is from Depka file yesterday, to overcome Russian resistance to a resolution mandating President Bashar Assad's ouster. You know, if you go back to this program, ladies and gentlemen, we told you about somebody who uh, had the capability about when old uh, Bashar Assad there was uh, on his uh, little uh, beach house up on the balcony smoking a cigarette, overlooking the twinkling stars and the waves on the on the mat or whatever, that somebody just uh, had a portable gate and jumped a portable gate into right onto that porch and all of a sudden put a dot right on somebody's shirt right there at the heart, you know, and it's caused the old Basher Assad, who's uh, got some of them giant genes, so it's a long way up. He's a, what you used to call a scapel butt, scapel, you know what, and uh, uh, Balaam's type, scapel butt. But anyway, uh, caused him to uh, uh, soil his pants, so to say, and then he was laid down on the ground real quick, like like a tripped and put down. And that was put right down there, and they told him and gave him uh, the wherewithal and the who's this and the what's that and all of that stuff and told him you ought to be a good boy. So we've had that capability. Somebody still has that capability. Why aren't they allowed to use that capability to take out and eliminate what is perceived, according to the U.S. foreign policy and others, to be the problem, which is Bashar Assad? But you see, that's not the whole story now, is it? It's obviously not the whole story, and the goal is not necessarily to get rid of him. The goal is to take out another nation that is, is a nation that does not go along with the Illuminati money people. At the same time, it fulfills the prophecies biblically, and it's almost working in that respect. Um, over and above uh, other practical respects or what you would say logical respects. Because, you see, people try to understand God, but the Lord supersedes science. The Lord supersedes all this logical thinking. But if you step back, you can see it, and you can understand it. But, you see, here we go. We're doing exactly as Isaiah 17 is basically predicting. And he said, uh, uh, Moscow announced Wednesday the dispatch to Syria of two warships carrying 600 Russian Marines. Well, they're already there because those were right there in the Mediterranean already. Uh, so they're not coming from Russia. Stand by, technical difficulties. Looks like Hawk got knocked off. Force umbrella that would provide, you know, the Russian Expeditionary Force, uh, if needed, the ability to uh, go against the U.S. and uh, other people. So what you've got here is the Russians are bringing in air assets. Um... And if they've got their ships there, they're going to certainly have air cover for their carriers, for their guided missile cruisers, all of their uh, naval assets. And then they're going to have, at the very least, an S-300 system to do nothing else but to protect their own naval base and their own naval ships from the United States air power, okay, or the British air power or the Israelis. So that S-300 would go clear 200 miles, take in, and would be able to command and control most of the air airwaves and to target things, whether it be missiles or planes or, you know, uh, what have you, spacecraft, if they can uh, uh, spot them there, if they're not phased out or, you know, and they're unable to, to see because of cloaking. And, the, and believe me, the Israelis have at least, from my, my information, at least, one or two TR-3Bs. 
and I'm glad they do have them. One or two TR3Bs. Those are triangular crab. Tango Romeo 3 Bravo. Likely made by Lockheed. Likely, but it could be made by parts from other people. And I don't know who makes them now, but the fact is, is these things are bad boys, and they're bad stuff to fool with. But here's the deal. Apparently, remember we're talking about this, apparently they can be tracked. If you recall, when Steve got a message years ago, an email from the English teacher in Iraq or Iran, uh, I believe the guy was in Iran and he was saying that the Russians were teaching the Iranians how to track TR-3Bs and other spacecraft. And so consequently, that S-300 would have some ability, but I'm not so certain it's just a 300, because if the Russians are trying to protect themselves, as well as Assad forces, then they would have their own S-400 system there at their base. And you see the Russians also have nuclear weapons at those on those naval vessels and at that base, ready to go, ready to use, there are also additional weapons inside of Iran, uh, additional weapons, uh, you know, as I said, in their naval vessels, etc. And so consequently, if they have an S-400, can knock everything out of the box, because the 400 is basically better and is one of the best, if not the best, anti-missile systems around, better than the stuff the United States has for the most part, uh, at least what's talked about. Now, if you got uh, if you got the old doctor and you want to call the doctor for some help, the doctor's got some ancient technology as well that he used on uh, Kim Jong Il's uh, or Kim uh, yeah Kim Jong Il, not this moon, but Hill, the Hill before the moon when he launched uh, eleven a uh, long time ago, launched eleven. It's just got a one or two, and they took them all out. And then, as I recall, at that period of time, the information was that Condoleezza Rice, who was the National Security Advisor at that point, just wanted to know just exactly how that was done. And it was done with an ancient technology, ancient high-level technology. So, ladies and gentlemen, I don't know exactly what's going on, but the Russians are getting ready to move a lot of stuff in. You can read, uh, there is a, a interesting uh, a report of some of the missiles and weapons there. I don't always agree uh, with everything of the source, but uh, basically uh, you can see it. Uh, let's see, I've got it uh, pulled out right here. It's an article, uh, Doomsday Weps to Syria. Putin is sending Doomsday Weapons to there. And then you can see it's from... Uh, Let's see. Uh, well, Gordon Duff uh, is the editor of the thing. I forget the name of it. Veterans Affairs or whatever it is. Uh, here's uh, some of the stuff that uh, Putin is supposedly sending, and they're confirming it from different sources. Uh, he indicates uh, also that an S-400 system is either inside Syria now or in the process of delivery. I would con concur with that. And you recall that I said that back over a year or more ago. And now the reports indicate the S-400 system is either inside Syria or now the process of delivery. There are no confirmations the 400 system has a range of over 400 miles and is considered more than a decade ahead of the most advanced U.S. counterpart. Um, they're also talking about putting in the uh, TOS-1 Buratino heavy uh, flamethrower rocket launch systems on their T-72 tanks, putting those in there. Uh, some of this stuff the uh, Syrians have already bought. Um, they also, uh, you know, show you uh, in this article pictures of the S-400 space system and that they will have state-of-the-art 24-barrel rocket launchers, which have a range of 6 kilometer. Um, you know, uh, and that makes it that Buratino the most developed, uh, you know, infantry uh, or artillery assets you could ever have. Uh, it's basically 
six kilometer range, thermobaric warheads. Thermobaric it means they're going to fire, put a lot of fire on the scenario. Okay, like going to be like chapter of the whirlwind. But I'm going to tell you what: that S-400 can launch nuclear weapons. Uh, the Russian submarines can launch nuclear weapons. The guided kind of missile cruisers can launch nuclear weapons. And then the Russians could just use aircraft and launch nuclear weapons, either cruise missiles, uh, their bombers, or bombs out of their bombers, or uh, out of their fighter bombers as well, uh, or for that matter, out of their fighters. Or they could just take a device and uh, put it out on an old missile, out on an old tank or something, throw it in the med, and then launch it up uh over Israel or launch it up over Lebanon or whatever to blow an EMP over there. They could just as easily do one and launch it from the Gulf of Mexico. That would be a real nice place because if you recall, the Russian sub was in the Gulf of Mexico for uh, months at a time, and we didn't even know it was there. We didn't know the Chinese sub was off the West Coast till they launched a missile to the West. What if they'd launched it east? What if they had just launched it east and, uh, uh, you know, and uh, we didn't have any kind of a heads up on that. Or if we did, we'd let them do it, which is even worse for the game. So you're going to see all this stuff go in there. And I'm telling you, Isaiah 17, which I've talked about and the Lord showed me years ago, and I've been working on it, you can now see it in the headlines every day. Now, uh, just an interesting thing here. If you saw the stock market the last two days, Dow's down uh, over 350, uh, you know, and then uh, basically uh, it taped, uh, you know, over 2% nosedive. And then the Fed is talking about, oh, well, they're going to taper off, printing the $86 billion or whatever per month. If you ever want to just see what, you know, that is, take $86 billion, times 12 months, and how many billion do you come up with? And then just divide that by the number of taxpayers in the United States to see what your percentage of each month that is. Of course, you're going to owe more if you are a conservative, if you're a constitutional, or if you believe in Jesus, because the IRS is a bunch of scum who are going to target you as a believer or target you as a constitutionalist or a Tea Party activator because you are not going to be uh, swearing allegiance to the Joker Tut Lizard. You know, you've got to swear personal allegiance to him. Have I not told you about that? Now, incidentally, uh, when Steve posted uh, yesterday or the day before, when the first reports were coming up about this, uh, uh, Guy Hastings, the Guardian uh, uh, Journal uh, um, reporter, uh, the Wikipedia, he's worked with them. He also worked with uh, Rolling Stone. He's the guy that basically burned uh, uh, McChrystal, General McChrystal, and forced a resignation or a, a change of uh, heart, so to speak, uh, with regards to McChrystal running the show in Afghanistan. And ladies and gentlemen, uh, whether you know it or not, uh, or like it or not, I said the other day that I thought that this uh, looked to be like a professional hit, and I wondered if there was any demolition derby drivers involved. Now, over the years, you've heard me talk about how uh, certain friends of the show uh, had demolition derby drivers uh, try to run them off the road. Well, they're high-priced mechanics or whatever, uh, but uh, the Lord uh, gave them enough awareness to be able to take to the ditch or go to the shoulder or to avoid the crash. Uh, although one time they messed and fooled with uh, flat tire scenarios and also wheels falling off scenarios, uh, you know, before doing it. But it's the love of the Lord Jesus that protected the friend of the show and uh, his family. But ladies and gentlemen, this Hastings guy, got hit, and he said that the FBI was uh, uh, surveilling him and was investigating him, and then today the FBI basically, probably, probably, allegedly, probably, 
allegedly lied again. You know, you got Mueller lying the other day to Congress, perjuring himself before Congress, but then he comes back and tells the truth and says, yeah, we use drones, okay, and admitted that because he couldn't lie again. But General Alexander of the NSA, I'm just going to say it, Grassley's question was, General Alexander, do you have the ability to listen to every phone call of the uh, people in the United States and to read their emails? And then Alexander's answer was, uh, no, we don't have the authority to do that. That wasn't the question, General Alexander. You're, you're bleeding there on, on, you know, you're, you're t- telltaling like a, a $3 punk perp on Saturday night getting braced by a Chicago cap or a New York cap, you know? You're getting clever in your lawyer words when the fact is you lied again. You perjured yourself before Congress again. You perjured yourself. And ladies and gentlemen, you want to do something that's if worthwhile, if you want to rear up and say it one more time, get a postcard. Don't send letters. Don't send emails. Because they just delete all that. Send a postcard so everybody will see it. Big block letters, you know, with a postcard. And say, cut the NSA budget by 75%. Cut the FBI budget 75%. Cut the IRS, you know, budget. Or can the IRS go to flat tax? Impeach Obama. Arrest Holder. Arrest Arrest Holder for perjury before Congress. Arrest Clapper for perjury to Congress. Arrest Alexander for perjury to Congress. Don't let the thing get away. Now, that's the one hand if you wish to do so. If you do not wish to do so, then you need to be preparing and prepping like nobody's business. And let me just tell you something. You need to get as much food, water purification, Medical supplies, um, you need to have herbal tinctures, uh, the colloidal silvers, the oregano, all the different things. And you need to be taking all of those plus your inner food, your vitamins, all of the different things right now. Because all of the information you see and we're seeing, we're seeing up there in Washington State, the takeover of a Christian school. Liberty Christian School for the summer, probably for a big amount of money. And what are they training? Some kind of Washington State Seaburn or, you know, what I call NBC, nuclear biological chemical. They got to add in radiation, but they've got it in another acronym like, uh, C cert, C sort, C sort, whatever. It's like these SWAT team uh, deals in prisons, the sort team or the cert team or the whatever. It's the emergency response. But basically what they're doing is they're responding in a lot of places to outbreaks of viral, you know, uh, bugs, uh, outbreaks of uh, bacterial bugs, whatever. This MERS, I got information today from a source. Uh, the, yesterday came out that the percentage was about a 65% kill ratio in Saudi Arabia on the MERS. Well, that's already high. Uh, the information I got today from a source said that it was up to 82%, which basically makes it 82% of people to get it croak, and that would make it a level four or level five uh, virus, okay, or, uh, you know, biological weapon. And consequently, you had better get the stuff that I'm going to tell you on the meso silver, which if this is SARS, similar to SARS, or derived somehow from SARS or whatever, uh, it doesn't make any difference, but the meso silver will kill bacterial as well as viral infections, all right, and parasites, and help you purify water, do a lot of different things. You can go to meso, you can go to stevequail.com, click on meso silver, and I'm gonna tell you, you can buy it, buy the carboy, the big like uh, five gallon uh, of it, you know, at one time, all right. You can get a large amount and get a better discount doing it that way. If you call them up or you contact them, you tell them Old Hawk sent you. Frankie Key is a good man, and uh, that plant, incidentally, does have an FDA inspector that comes and inspects that plant. 
that makes this product at Mezzo Silver is probably one of the few plants that those type of products that they actually have an FDA inspector that comes by very frequently. So consequently, there's a whole other level in this type of product. You'd better get it because I've said for years that a biological weapon as a false flag or an allowed real flag, in other words, you allow the Russian Spetsnaz that Wendy L. Schneider just wanted to take to the baseball game at, at Fort Carson, Colorado. She's the base public relations officer, Wendy L. Schneider. Wendy L. Schneider, Fort Carson. Wendy L. Schneider, the base at Fort Carson. Well, your little Russians have been setting the fires again in the Black Forest. Now today, spokespeople from the feds and from the sheriff there, I hinted that the sheriff said the other day that this was not caused by lightning strikes or natural causes, which initially is what they were trying to say, but they found it, and you know, they won't tell you what they're finding out. Well, all you got to do, you guys, you got to look for the Russian Spetsnaz, the Russian Spetsnaz, or Russian paratroopers, or Russian helicopter pilots, or Russians driving black SUVs, where we had spots of that talked about, and those are the boys starting your fires, Russians. Now, why? And this is another postcard you could do. You can send this. So every time it goes through the mail, a million people see it at the post office, different places, and it does land on a desk or in a bag. Somebody has to look at it. So in that respect, you may reach more people than you just one intended people where they click on an email and that's forget it. If you want to call your senator, your congressperson, whatever, but ask them this question also. Why is it that according to base, Wendy L. Schneider, base public relations officer, that Russian Spetsnaz and air, and air troopers were brought in, airborne, were brought into the United States for training with our special forces and other things for terroristic scenarios? And then why are these Russians still here? We still got them up around Loveland, Colorado. You still got them now by Colorado Springs. You got them near Benning. You got them near Bragg. You got them near Fort Hood. Okay. And probably a whole lot of other places as well. I would imagine there's some in Washington state. I imagine there's quite a few in Virginia, West Virginia, all over the place. There seems to be a whole deal going on, a hoot nanny with a lot of foreign troops jumping out of helos on the East Coast in the last few days. That's either could be with this Virgo falcon exercise or whatever well let me tell you what the old hawk will tell you that these people are going to be your martial law guys that are going to be involved if they use a bioweapon that retains as I've told you for years that retains a larger percentage of the police state police the agency of the state and federal emergency agencies and intelligence agencies it will preserve a large portion of their hired gun help that say just an outright declaration of martial law after a nuclear event might not do because the bioweapon scared the you know what out of everybody and then it's such a plausible deniability as a quote unquote act of little g god type warfare. Asymmetrical. We'll be back in a minute, ladies and gentlemen. With natural and man-made disasters and economic turmoil, if we don't get well prepared, we will most certainly regret it. Good readiness must include storage of high-quality food that will build us up rather than tear us down. Much of the storable food available is full of bad fats, salt, sugar, nutrient-poor refined foods, and even MSG. In response, EnterHealth Botanicals has created our 40-day and 40-night 100% organic preparedness pail. It's GMO-free and has a 10- to 20-year shelf life if stored at 60 degrees or less. 
Some of the items need cooking, some can be eaten dry, while some can be soaked and sprouted. These are selling out fast, the third the price of storable food packages. Call us at 866-762-9238. That's 866-762-9238. Or go to enerfood.com, E-N-E-R-F-O-O-D.com. 866-762-9238. Or go to E-N-E-R-F-O-O-D.com. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. This is the Hawk. You can also get the uh, new uh, 14-day uh, pail of organic food uh, from uh, Inner Food. And you can go to innerfood.com or you can call them up. And let's see, they just gave the inner number, but let me give it to you again here. I should have it right handy. Um, where is all the stuff at when you need it and you can't find it, huh? Where is that? Well, anyway, ladies and gentlemen, if you call 866-762-9238, Enter Health Botanicals, or you go to enterfood.com, E-N-E-R-F-O-O-D.com. You can get the uh, new 14-day pail. Uh, we had the 40-day, 40-night pail before that, so you can get this at a smaller price and at least get you something going. If you're that person that can only afford just a little bit right now, which, believe me, I understand that fully, completely. Um you don't have much to do. If you can only get a can of chunky soup, then go get a can of chunky soup. If you can get the 14-day, you know, organic food pail, and if you can get that, I believe it's at $99.95, or if you can get any of the other items, you can get a little bit of a discount if you just tell them that Hawk sent you. Hawk is the code word. Hawk, H-A-W-K, and you'll get a discount on all the items except for, I believe, uh, on one of the Burkefield, uh, water purifiers, uh, the British, or the Berkey light or whatever, you don't get it on that, but everything else, you'll get a discount, even off the quantity discounts. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, let me tell you something here. Uh, if you want to learn about something that is coming and has already been, and you'd like to do it, Steve Quayle's new book called True Legends, Tales of Giants and the Plumed Serpents. Native American Tales of Stargates, Giants, Bigfoot, and Skinwalkers, Lifting the Veil that Surrounds the Native American Legends. That book is now uh, in stock. Uh, Steve has got it in stock, but I'm going to tell you something. He's taken so many pre-orders for it that the initial printing is about half gone already. Uh, I'll tell you what, you can go to stevequail.com, click on the True Legends banner, which uh, shows a picture of a giant uh, chasing and carrying buffalo in his arm. And I believe that book, let's just see, let's click on it right here. And I think it's, uh, as I recall, oh yeah, you can click on that. You can download the table of contents and read it. And then I believe the book itself is, uh, now shipping and the price is $40 plus shipping. $40 plus shipping. You can go right there and you can order it or you can call 406 586-4840-406-586-4840. And why there, let me tell you something. You should order some gold, silver, platinum, palladium. And to wit, I'm going to read what V, the Gorilla Economist, update. And if you don't read V's updates, he's been putting one up there on Steve's site about every other day or every day or two. Uh, you can go to the right-hand side of stevequail.com, scroll down, and you uh, go there, and it'll say V Gorilla Economist Updates. You can click on that and read that, and uh, you can see here's what V said today. Bloodbath or going as predicted. You were warned, so don't panic. As the stimulus-addicted market sung a low yesterday on Bernanke's feigned comment that they may taper, as in taper up on the printing of money. Today, we see the markets sell off and gold and silver plunge. Panic is setting in, 
as I am hearing of emergency meetings are being called at some of the biggest precious metal dealers in the country. He says they have to raise acquisition premiums, and I get this as the key, as there simply is not enough physical metal to meet demand. Folks, the reason for the plunge is twofold. One, this is to, again, to shake the tree and to get the weak players out of the game on metals. Two, this is to recoup for the massive bond sell-off last month. The way you offset it is to shake stocks as stocks outperform bonds. Now, what they're doing is to simply corral the mindless sheep into bonds again to bring back down the yields to normal levels. To those that have been following me, V says, this should not come as a surprise to you. Remember when I said they can take gold and silver down to as low as they want in the paper market, but the inverse is that demand is causing acquisition premiums. In other words, the premium you pay over spot just to acquire the pinnacle. The physical metal, it's, those premiums are skyrocketing. Uh, apparently, uh, Steve got some information from people that in Reno, Nevada, the guy went out to try to buy a physical gold uh, ounce of gold, and he could only find a few. Most of it was already gone and sold in Reno, and that they wanted $2,000 for an ounce of gold. Well, if you look at the, I believe the latest uh, deal today was 1300 and and change, for an ounce of gold. Well, that is a, about a $650, $700 premium. Okay. Uh, it's, it's around a $700 premium to get a physical ounce versus the paper price. So do not be alarmed, he says, because, oh, he said, and look also at price dip in platinum palladium. Premiums are going to go up on those as well, he says. Do not be alarmed because things are playing out. Exactly as I predicted. Keep buying and ignore the paper price and prepare. And they are moving things along to that expected July 3rd date. Uh, B thinks something big could happen around somewhere around July 3rd. So consequently, other people have been saying that as well. But now if you remember what B said when he was on with Steve Quayle on several occasions, but the initial equation, Occasion where I recall B coming on to Hagman and Hagman's show with Doug and Joe Hagman and Steve and B, and B said unequivocally and then repeated it the next show. Get your money out of the banks. Get your money out of the stock market. Get your money out of the bond market. Get your money out of every kind of paper asset there is. And what did V tell you to put it in? He said to put it into long-term storage food, into farmland that you could produce food on, gold and silver. And then he said to get whatever you need to protect those things, firearms and what have you, ammunition. And that is exactly what B said. I've been telling you that for quite some time. What does Old Hawk said? Get your money out of paper. Put it into something you can eat. You know, put it into something that purifies water. Pure, put it into guns and ammunition. Can't, can't buy much ammo, but you can sure try and get a little bit. And then I'll just tell you, ladies and gentlemen, if you do not want to stand up and, and do anything now, then you must prepare, prepare, prepare. If you have a lot of money, why is it you want to chase paper? Why, when the in inflation rate is a lie, you know, in the inflation rate, they don't count the cost of food, uh, gasoline, oil, insurance. They don't count the cost of health insurance or health care. And they don't count anything that really matters or makes a difference. Uh, oh, yeah, they can say, well, we closed the last 10 pencil factories in America. They're all made in China now, so the price of pencils went down to a penny a piece from two cents a piece. They can tell you that. And they can play games with productivity. You've read the reports uh, from David Stockton, uh, who was uh, 
David Stockman was uh, Reagan's uh, initial uh, national uh, economic advisor, and he was is basically he's got part one, two, three, David Stockman's non-recovery, part two, the crash of breadwinners, and of the born again job scam. So what they're talking about, not Christian jobs, but jobs that have come back, that have really not come back. So the federal government and all these statistics is lying. Who is the father of all lies? If you are then buying your investments based upon statistics that are provided by the federal government that in their inflation figure, does not count food cost, health care costs, gas and oil costs, insurance costs. If they don't include those in the inflation figure or if in the jobs figure, in other words, the unemployment rate, if you are off of the unemployment rolls and have exhausted your unemployment benefits, or if you never had any in the first place, you were a, a contractor or you owned your own business and you had no unemployment at all, and yet your business has gone kaput or you're not building any uh, uh, great uh, giant construction projects or you've uh, uh, your candy store went out of business or whatever it might be, or it's getting ready to from the cost of Obamacare that you'll have to provide to all of your employees, unless you just knock them all back to about 20 hours a week. So you can't have anybody working 30 hours, which now the Joker test people consider full time. So you have to be less than 30 hours to where you don't have to spend that minimum of 20,000 bucks a year for each person for a family plan, uh, which they're talking about. And this is just going to destroy it is going to destroy the entire healthcare industry and do all of that on top of all that. So, ladies and gentlemen, if you would like to get gold or silver from somebody to tell you to buy it, when they told you to buy it, it was around 300 bucks on gold and about 450 on silver, then you'd call Steve Quayle at 406-586-4840. 406 586 Or you can email him. You can email at steve777 at stevequail.com. That's Q-U-A-Y-L-E. Quail. Q-U-A-Y-L-E. And you tell them what Ox sent you. And ladies and gentlemen, I will say this to you. This NSA thing is much more far gone than you can ever imagine. It's just much more wild and out there. I mean, they're taking pictures of you from satellites. They've got all this uh, S6. They're remote collection people. They do all the black bag jobs. And they've got bugs and flies on the wall and little cameras. And the cameras are the size of a uh, stamp. The cameras are the size and bugs are the size of a postage stamp or the circular uh, Band-Aid. Or they could even be a... A pigeon up on the wire or a raven or a crow sitting on a fence post. It could be a, a bug or a bee or a hornet. They could also have the capability of stinging you and delivering a neurotoxin to you. And these people lie. General Alexander says, oh, we don't have the authority. The question was that Grassley asked you, do you have the ability to collect and listen to every phone call and to read every email and as well as email, then you have Skype and texts and uh, Twitter and all the Facebooks and all this stuff. And then General Alexander evades the question and basically tells the lie of omission as, and of commission as well. And he says, we don't have said authority. And then they're trying to tell you that this FBI, they have to go to the FBI, the big old NSA with the hugest budget you've ever seen. These people have the most huge budget, much bigger CIA. It's like a 100 times bigger than that. 
They have black budgets. It's off the books. Just the budget that you know about, you tell your congresspeople and your senators to cut General Alexander's NSA scumbag budget. You tell them to cut that budget 70%. And uh, tell them they need a haircut. Tell them it's time that they started paying attention to the Constitution. They started paying attention to the Lord in heaven. They started paying to the American people. Because I'm going to tell you what, they can surveil you. They can target you with drones. They can send you, you know, people out to get you, to arrest you, to throw you into camps. But I'm going to tell you what, there's power in the blood of Jesus. There is power in the blood of Jesus. And I'm going to tell you what, the Lord, every single time somebody's come for me, the Lord has alerted me that something was getting ready to happen or to watch somebody or that something was up to no good. And I'm going to tell you, there's going to come a time, you scum. There's going to come a time, you tears, you Luciferian tears, the highest levels of the U.S. intelligence community, military, and government. There's going to come a time when you're not going to be able to kill us. You're going to be able to get a lot of us, but you ain't going to be able to get us all because we will multiply and come at you. And the thing that we're going to come at you with, is called the Declaration of Independence, which is the law of the land. That whenever any form of government becomes destructive of these ends, it is the right of the people to alter or to abolish it. That's right, General Alexander would come to abolish you under the Declaration of Independence. Mueller will abolish you. Joker Tet will abolish you under the right of the people to alter or to abolish it and to institute new government laying its foundation on such principles and organizing its powers in such form as to them shall seem most likely to affect their safety and happiness. Prudence indeed will dictate that governments long established should not be changed for light and transient thought. Stand by. Seems Hawk struck a nerve. Technical difficulty. And I believe they knocked me off the air for quoting the Declaration of Independence. So therefore, I'm going to go right back to that Declaration of Independence right there. You just telltaled yourself. You just tell tell yourself NSA or FBI or EIEIO or whoever you are. You just tell tell yourself because you can't stand the heat. When the people who are of the Lord and in the right keep on it coming and you can't scare them off, you can kill them, but you can't scare them off, and they keep on it coming, then, buddy, there's pretty soon there's going to be enough of us that are going to say that whenever any form of government becomes destructive of these ends, Becomes destructive of these ends into the right of the people to alter or to abolish it and to institute new government laying its foundation in on such principles and organizing its powers in such form as to them seem more most likely to affect their safety and happiness. Now prudence indeed and all that stuff, but the heck with that. We ain't talking about light transit causes. Because Mankind may be more disposed to suffer while evils are sufferable than to right themselves by abolishing the forms to which they are accustomed. But when a long train of abuses and usurpations pursuing invariably the same object evinces a design to reduce them under absolute despotism, Ladies and gentlemen, if they can surveil you and know everything you're doing at all times and listen to all your emails, read your mail, your conversations on the Internet, on Twitter, on Facebook, and all the different things you do, your cell phone, your satellite phone, and they can track you, GPS you. they got their house GPS. they got cameras down at the end of the street and microphones in a lot of neighborhoods. Oh, yes, they're up there along with, quote, unquote, the... Wi-Fi boxes. 
And if they have the ability to come right through the wires, through the telephone lines, through the electrical wires to your house, and to turn on any, basically any electronic instrument that has a microphone or something, that means your computer, your printer of your computer, maybe even one of your new refrigerators, uh, certainly radios, faxes, etc. Then quite frankly, ladies and gentlemen, is that not something when combined with the National Defense Authorization Act and with what you've seen now with how they're targeting you if you do not swear allegiance to the Joker Tut Lizard, if you do not swear allegiance to him, then the IRS comes after you to audit you or deny you what you should have ability to do. And then now the FBI, who is conducting that investigation on the IRS, the director of the FBI can't even tell you who is the investigating agents are on the case or what the status of it is because they don't even care about you. It really doesn't make you want to pay taxes. Does it make you want to cooperate with uh, your FBI agent or anybody? You would just better tell them that you don't talk to anybody without advice of counsel, and even with counsel, you ain't going to talk to them at all. You tell them to go get the warrant. You tell them to go fish. You tell them to shove it. Technical difficulties. Fox struck another nerve. Stand by. Again, thank you for verifying that the NSA, that the NSA and the FBI are probably on the line that have been knocking me off the air, which seems to happen to good old Hawk and Steve Quayle more than anybody else. Because when you combine the love of the Lord Jesus and you combine the truth and the righteousness of the Lord and you combine it with the Constitution and the Bill of Rights and you're not afraid to speak it and to go after those tears, those Luciferian scum who would perpetrate and to throw you under absolute despotism, well, let me tell you what your right and what your duty is. It is your right, it is your duty to throw off such government. It is your right or your duty to throw off such government and to provide new guards for your future security. So when a long train of abuses and usurpations, pursuing invariably the same object, evinces a design to reduce them under absolute despotism, does indefinite detention at the whim of the executive branch under the NDAA, the National Defense Authorization Act, and then all of the other five, six hundred other acts that not only were uh, invoked by George W. Bush after 9-11, but that we're still under, and that Obama has taken to the next step even further, or that you got Russian troops, and you got red Chinese troops. Incidentally, you remember when we said the red Chinese? I said they came into Wright-Patterson Air Force Base. They were greeted by the big mucky mucks at Wright-Pat Air Force Base. Then they were put on Chinooks and other helicopters and taken to various points in Ohio. One wonders if the red Chinese ended up at Battelle. At Battelle, uh, I don't know if they did. I don't even allege they did. One wonders if the red Chinese military agents ended up at Battelle, because if you remember Dr. Leonard Horowitz, you remember that he found that the anthrax that was used, that was so-called done by the professorial guy, that the FBI, the, the anthrax that was sent, you know, back after 9-11 into Congress and to the news agencies that basically the type that it was was a bed night form and that you needed a machine that cost $50 million to make it and that Dr. Leonard Horowitz's information said that that anthrax back then was made at Battelle. So if we're going to do a bioweapon thing and then let's say that the red Chinese brought the SARS virus or the new SARS over, Perhaps, and maybe they were sent to various places. 
because they went to uh, various places in Ohio, Indiana, Chicago, Illinois, or in Illinois, and then also Kansas City, Missouri. Is there research facilities there, perhaps, that were involved with whatever it is the Red Chinese were doing? You also see in the pictures, if you recall, from the bombing, from the Boston Marathon bombing, do you remember the large number of an older Chinese man and then several younger Chinese men with the high and tight haircuts? Do you remember that? Looking and involved in that? So if you've got all these foreign troops... And they're at Port Eustis, I believe, over there on the East Coast. They're jumping out of helicopters and doing everything, practicing to come at you, practicing to jump out of the helicopters and to gun you down, okay, practicing to come in hot and take out those patriots. Well, let me tell you something. When a long train of abuses and usurpations pursuing invariably the same object events as they design, to reduce them under absolute despotism, it is their right, it is their duty to throw off such government and to provide new guards for their future security. Right there it is. Right there it is, ladies and gentlemen. And that is the promise you can tell them. You could give them a copy, a pocket constitution, or you could give them the pocket declaration of independence and underline it with yellow highlighter and send it to everybody in the political world and let them know. Because I'll tell you something, the time is coming now. You'd better go to SteveQuayle.com and also read Doug Hagman's latest from the DHS Insider, which says something may be going to happen in July that will get finished off, that will get finished off by October. So ladies and gentlemen, don't go into their loose period and I've got to fight. Mighty men and women about her, I know that you're out there. I know also that, quite frankly, that the, the uh, uh, nuclear power plant, perhaps, in Arizona may be in play. I've seen some evidence to that in the comms. I don't know if it is, but protect that, because that would be the West Coast. And all the power grid out there. So if somebody's coming up, take care of them. Call the fire down on the Lucy's. And them old Fandango range. I know you're there in Miguel Pool. I know you're high, tight, down, 